Uh, good morning. We're talking today to Professor Alberto Forig of the University of San Andres in Buenos Aires. Professor Forig is Doctor of Philosophy from the Oxford University in England, an expert in Argentine politics, and that's our purpose in talking with him today. Uh, Alberto, would you tell us a little bit about the political situation in Argentina? The, the first thing is that we are uh, on the brink of uh, an electoral period in which we will have not only national elections, but also gubernatorial elections in the country. Therefore, many, many of the provinces of the Argentine provinces have a separate election day. So we will uh, start witnessing some elections in 90 days and they will go on for the rest of the year because the national election takes place at the end of October and we will have possibly a second round. So we will be holding elections from March until November uh, of this year. So the country is totally immersed yeah. in this process and the main political forces are um, starting to select uh, their candidates in order to compete for for this uh, election, which is, by the way, very, uh, I would say, crucial because it marks the end not only of one presidency, but of a political cycle that lasted for 12 years, which means that the next uh, president we will uh, see will take uh, at least two periods in office if he doesn't do things awfully. Right. Well, the, the current president, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, may not be uh, post for another term, so she's going to step down. Uh, is she, does she have a preferred candidate amongst her disciples in the Peronist Party? No, she hasn't. At least she hasn't made that public. Uh, there's a front runner in, he, in her party, which uh, his name is uh, Scioli. He's governor of the province of Buenos Aires. Daniel Scioli, yeah. but she never favored Scioli's uh, candidacy. So he, even though he uh, is widely accepted in the polls by people from his party as the main candidate, our, uh, Christina is not endorsing him accordingly because uh, her possibly her strategy will be to impose uh, some people in the vice presidency, in some uh, provinces, and in the um, legislative tickets. She sees Scioli as too conservative for her? Yeah, I think that uh, they are ideologically very, very different people. Uh, Scioli is a center-right person, and Cristina uh, thinks about herself as a center-left person. Therefore, right. She, she prefers other candidates, but which unfortunately for her don't uh, have enough backing by the public. Right. Now, a lot of conversation has come up about a man named Sergio Massa, who's the mayor of Tigre, which is not a very big city in Argentina after all. And a lot of those, those of us outside Argentina wonder how it is that he's become so popular. But he's also a Peronist, isn't he? Yeah, he's the, uh, the second uh, major political figure. There are three main candidates. Uh, he is the second after Scioli, who is uh, with a big chance to become uh, the next president. Uh, he's been mayor of Tigre, but he was also sort of a prime minister of Cristina during her first term in office. Therefore, he was previously very well known at the national level because he had a lot of exposure during his tenure in office at the national level. I see. It. That's and why he uh -huh. became widely known by the public opinion. And at the same time, uh, in last year, uh, sorry, in 2013 election, uh, he won the province of Buenos Aires and he won an, uh, a provincial election. And that election was crucial for Cristina because since Massa won, Cristina was forced to step down in her strategy to become elected for a third period. Since he worked closely with Cristina at one point, do you consider him as conservative as Scioli or do you consider him more progressive? All of the candidates that, are, that have more possibilities to win next year's election uh, are center-right. Simply because, uh, again, Argentina's political cycle over the last 12 years 
emphasized center-left values in terms of economic policy, in terms of human rights and other issues. And the public opinion has, I would say, changed uh, its preferences towards uh, a center-right agenda. Therefore, the main candidates interpret that agenda um, backing it by their own ideology. Right. But the, what does that do to the candidate uh, of uh, Mauricio Macri, the mayor of Buenos Aires, who calls himself also the center-right candidate? How do, how, does, how do Massa and Scioli affect or hurt Macri's chances? Uh, Macri is a third um, important candidate, as we said now, uh, in order to wrap up. One is Scioli, who is governor of the province of Buenos Aires. The second one is Massa, the mayor of Tigre, as you mentioned. And the third is Macri. Macri is the um, person in charge of the city of Buenos Aires, the city's capital. He's the mayor of the city, and he is the third center-right person. But the difference with the other two uh, candidates is that he's not a faction of the Peronist party. He has his own party called PRO, P-R-O, and therefore uh, he doesn't um, share the same uh, party structure than the previous two candidates uh, somehow uh, divide uh, among themselves. Therefore, he relies on a very different uh, political uh, organization, which is his own, and who which has lots of limitations in terms of generating a political structure in many, many Argentine provinces. Uh, the Peronist Party has a party that is very much developed in the whole country, whereas Macri has uh, his own party in two or three main districts, but he lacks strong political backing, for example, in the province of Buenos Aires. And this, of course, diminishes the possibilities for him to win. Professor Fordig, thank you for your time, and we look forward to talking again as the campaign unfolds after the summer vacation.